GWM Water provides us with plenty of opportunities for the students here. Um, it's obviously a very remote rural area, so it's quite dry. So in drier seasons, it's really important that the pool is available for community members. Having access to affordable water is really important, particularly in an area like Horsham, which is prone to droughts and dry times. My name is Nikki Hollis. I'm the Senior Lifeguard at Eden Hope Swimming Centre. The recreational water is used at the school's facility at the swimming pool, which is located on site. It's open to the public for lap swimming and after school. The reduced rate helps us maintain the pool throughout the season. Hi, my name's Ben Tate and I'm Principal here at Horsham Special School. The recreation water here gets used throughout all of our um, educational programs and running of the school and so to be able to keep them green and lush uh, is really important for us. At the end of last year we had a, a water fun day where we had a slipper slide um, and so access to water to be able to provide all of these different activities uh, and as I say the fun and enjoyment um, for the students to be here at the school um, it, it's a, a wonderful opportunity for us. I'm Robert Loach, Chair of the Victorian Recreational Fishing Peak Body VR Fish. Walker's Lake was a wildlife reserve turned into a recreational reserve so it gets a lot of ducks on it, a lot of swans on it, a lot of coots on it. We have fishing competitions here, but when the fish are on the go, the red friend are on the go, there's people from Horsham and all over the area come and fish here. My name's Cheryl Sudoltz and I am the Secretary of the Committee of Management at Nanningmark Showgrounds. Having the recreational water for the community and, and for the oval around the, uh, around the grounds itself, it just keeps the place such a beautiful, lovely space to, to be and come to. The Nanny Mark Football Club, uh, they use it basically all year round uh, with training and then game days on Saturdays. We have the Nanny Mark Markets up here now, which makes it uh, really great for families and friends to walk around at their own pace but also that the, the kids can run out on the oval and everyone knows um, they're in a safe space. My name is Cam Weston and I'm the principal of Repanyet Primary School. The water that we do get helps us uh, water our ovals, um, we've got a, a play area that keeps nice and green all year round and during the summer months uh, the students also uh, go swimming as well so it fills the pool. Initially we looked into it and thought oh, we're not sure that we would be able to afford to keep the oval green all year round but um, with this affordable water it's been fantastic. The students raise money for, for the pump and the irrigation system and then we've been able to do the rest. Chris Rickard, I'm a committee member of the uh, Committee of Management for the Chum Lake Aquatic Club. We always had water in our lake up until uh, late 1990s and uh, early 2000s and then the uh, water in the Grampian system was dry, the Waranga system was, was dry and our lake was uh, basically empty for 10 years. The lake's a great outlet for our local community, not only our own community but our neighbouring towns. It's used you know, for all, all sorts of water sports, fishing, walking, there's walking track around the lake and it's just, just a, a great outlet for the local community. I'm Jared Munro and I'm Vice President of the Own United Football Netball Club. The, the footy club needed a second oval to accommodate an extra four junior sides. So we've been restricted with funding to build the oval and we had to do it all ourselves out of our own pocket. To get discounted water uh, was so crucial to the process of, of having an oval, having it green as, as it is at the moment and um, having somewhere for the kids to play. Obviously being dry here in Oyen, to have a lake uh, on, our, on our doorstep is, is incredible and it's, it's amazing what it's done to the community and it's, it's been uplifting and it's been clearly the best thing Oyen's been able to do. It's really important for us to be able to access the discounted water um, because it allows us to direct student funding into other areas and uh, other educational programs. Without the discount of the water from, from GWM Water, it would be nearly impossible for us to be able to afford to uh, purchase the water. With the discounted rate, uh, we're allowed to water it more often. It allows us to keep the grounds green all year round. 